Okay, next project. We've got a 1967 John Deere 112. This one sat in a barn for years. It was up in a up in a loft. Did some trading, ended up getting this one. It's complete. It's in rough shape. Got a lot of rust on it. Looks like a set of before it went into the pole barn. Looks like it set outside a lot of its life. Got a lot of heavy rust on the frame. It'll all clean up. I've done, done them in, in worse condition than this. My serial number is this one. Oh, let's see if you guys can read it. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. What is that? 11, 5, 80 maybe? Seat's incorrect. Too many holes. Same design, just too many holes. I'll probably leave it on there just to be different. It's got the incorrect transmission. I think that's out of a square fender. It's got the uh, it's got the wrong shifter shaft on it. The stick's different. The bends kind of gets in the way of the uh, of the shifter detent cover. Got the original rear tires on it. I got the hood on it off of 110 hydraulic lift. It was another project tractor I had. I, ended up, I bought this hood off eBay, but I ended up restoring the, uh, the the factory hood off the tractor. Kept this one just for an extra one. It found a home. Front tires have been replaced. Headlights are kind of cool. They're not correct, but kind of like the looks of it. I've got them with the John Deere lights mounted to the hood. This is just something different. I'll probably leave them. Engine runs good. No smoke, no crazy noises, no rods hammering or rod hammering. Carburetor's incorrect. I do have the correct carburetor. They did a job on the battery box. I don't know what they've done, but they've cut off the factory tank mount and they've bolted some straps to it. Homemade setup. I've got all the correct stuff to put back on it. Just wrote it, drove it over here from the barn. I'll see if it'll start. decent. Changed the oil on it. Clean the the uh, carburetor fuel bowl out. She fired right up. This must have been stored pre uh, ethanol days because if it had ethanol in it sitting that long, it did have fuel in it. It would have been toast. Okay, like I said, this will be uh, this will probably be summertime, maybe spring. I'll get into this one. I got a couple projects ahead of it. We'll get this one restored, bring it back to its glory. Okay, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll keep bringing in these old projects. Hopefully, get into some step-by-step -step rebuilds. Then a little, you know, probably probably this spring, I'm going to get a different camera set up and a tripod. We'll get into the step-by-step -step rebuild. We'll really go over it in detail. And I do a lot. I do I do ATVs. I do ATCs, three-wheelers. There's a patio I'm doing. I do mini bikes, mopeds. Just trying to get different content in the channel. When you guys like it, subscribe it. I know it. Know to keep doing it. Probably brush up on my video editing skills later. I don't do much but just splice some videos together and post them. So far, I think I've helped you guys out a little bit. I've got a couple couple videos on my channel showing some differences in round fenders in the years. That one's really went over pretty well. Okay. That's the last look at this old dog before I start tearing it apart. Probably be springtime. I'll tear it apart and we'll start putting another video together. I'm almost finished up with the video for this one. I'll be posting it soon. I'm waiting on the hood and the uh, the pan for it, and I'll have the patio video back up. I don't think they hauled too much with with that there. <laughs> I don't know what that would be for. Maybe it had a lift on it. It had a chain running through it or something. Definitely wasn't holding nothing heavy. Okay.
Until the next one, don't forget to like and subscribe.